Good morning, families. Um, so for the read aloud book, I read Duck Soup by Jackie Urbanovic. Duck Soup by Jackie Urbanovic. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley, and a and potato. Soup. This would be Max's masterpiece. Ooh la la. This is going to be grand. Max had made lots of soups before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon. Red hot chili soup with squash gumbo. Cracker barrel cheese and marshmallow soup and way, way too much beans soup. He had cooked them all, but every recipe had been created by another chef. Not Max. Now he was making his own soup. The soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would be remembered for inventing. Slurp, slurp, sip. It smells perfect, but the taste is not quite right. Max thought it over. A pinch of this, a pinch of that. Broccoli, zucchini, chives, that's it. It needs an herb from the garden. Just wait, eat my delicate broth. Max will be back to make the perfecto in uno momento. Snack. The front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and BB walked in. Sniff, sniff. Oh, what smells so good, asked Brody. Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than last time, said Dakota. Hey, Max. Maxie, where are you? Called Brody. We're about to eat your soup, added Dakota. So, what's wrong? Asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. Dakota gasped. I think... I know where Max went. I told him he should never cook alone. Do you think he fell in? I'm sure he did. Call for help, said BB. Help! There's no time, said Dakota. Max, grab a spoon, yelled Dakota. That won't work, said BB. He can't hear you. I know, the strainer. Strainer? A big bowl with little holes. Grab it. Brody help, help, hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would stay behind. Ah, it's his head, said BB. Silly, it's only a potato, Brody replied. Eyeballs. His eyeballs, said BB. Guys, it's only tiny onions, said Brody. His feet, said Dakota. Calm down, you two. It's only a carrot slices, said Brody. Smack! They all looked up as the front door slammed shut. Who could that be? My soup! Max, Max, Max. That night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Irene. And you'll cook your perfect soup someday soon, she added. And it'll be great, said Brody. Really great, said BB. We know you're disappointed, said Irene, but at least you're not duck soup. They all agreed, even Max.